So I have finished Resident Evil 2. Here are my thoughts about the game. Likes, okays and dislikes. Starting with the likes. Replayability. You can't finish this game just once. It's a minimum. Well, it's up to you. It's your game, your money, your time. Spend it however you want. Me personally, I could never play this game just once. At least four times because there is a Leon... A storyline, there's a Claire A storyline, there's a Leon B storyline, and a Claire B storyline. <sighs> Fantastic. Some of the main set pieces are the same, but the endings are slightly different. Uh, there's additional, there's different sections, gameplay segments. I'm not going to go into too many details in case you want to play it yourself. But yeah, playing through this game once, not a chance. And then there's the allure of even... Harder difficulties, hardcore mode in particular. And every single playthrough gives you a rank, gives you a time, gives you the number of saves. It's this game within a game of bettering yourself. Ah, you know, I beat the game in six hours. I think I could do it in five. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, I beat in that time I did that. I did this many saves, maybe I could do less saves. If you really want a challenge, then you can bump it up to hardcore and try to go for the S plus ranking, which is beat the game under a set period of time. A time that you would look at after your first playthrough and think that is utterly impossible. <laughs> you can't use special weapons, nothing with infinite ammo and only three saves. Speaking of special weapons, you beat the game one way, you get a special weapon. You beat the game another way, you get a special weapon to use with any of the two characters in any of the scenarios. I'm talking about infinite machine guns, the ever-present infinite rock launcher if you master the game, infinite Gatling gun, infinite pistol, infinite combat knife, just more uh, reasons to go back in. Of course, ah, mustn't forget. Costumes. Not only costumes that affect gameplay, but they affect the cutscenes. It is so cool to have Leon Kendi dressed in a noir outfit, same goes for Claire, or even Leon in the sheriff outfit. That's a good one. In the cutscenes, <laughs> they're dressed like that. <laughs> you take the game seriously your first time through, every other subsequent run, play around with stuff and just have a good time. The switch to third person perspective. Last year I played Resident Evil 1, fixed camera perspective, and yes, there is a, a purpose in preserving games the way they were before, but also when a game can evolve with the times, which Resident Evil 2 seemed to do. For me anyway, I found it much more immersive having that camera angle down behind the character, being able to move through the police department and get my bearings. Didn't find the police department as confusing with the different camera angle. Those corridors in Resident Evil 1, you run in through a corridor and the camera's this way, and then you run out the other one and the camera's over here, and then you run through another one and the camera's here. My head was spinning. <laughs> with the police department, certainly much, uh, much more digestible in the way it opened up. Being able to move and shoot is something I did kind of worry about for Resident Evil 2, but your movement is seriously hampered, and in order to get a proper shot off, which I didn't learn this until probably my fourth playthrough, the reticle, once it goes down, it minimizes, that's when you get the full power of the shot, and you tend to only get that when you're holding steady. It's quicker if you stand still, the reticle will shrink much faster than if you move it about and swing in your, your aim around. Four playthroughs in, I didn't realise that I'm just taking out the gun and blasting away and wondering how come I'm using up so much ammo. So you are rewarded for taking it slow and probably playing the game like how it was intended. Slower pace, more tension. Another like, not too many enemies. Make each enemy count, make them at times even bullet sponges. For example, if there's a room with three zombies, that's enough to cause serious trouble. And no point, well, not for the first couple of playthroughs anyway, did I feel like some overpowered god. It was always, what am I going to do about this room with these handful of zombies? Okay, I've got a grenade, but do I want to use the grenade now or do I want to save it for later? Okay, well, I've got the magnum. That would be 
deadly, but oh, what about a boss fight? Okay, I'll use the pistol, but that's going to take so much ammo. And this this uh, kind of Rolodex of options flickering through in my head every time coming into a room with just a handful of zombies. I like that. And it stayed there the whole way. Of course, then you add in liquors and it becomes terrifying. Especially because for a long time I also didn't realise the liquors have no eyes. They can't see. If you don't make a sound and if you walk, you can just walk by them. I was fighting every single one. <laughs> Final like gameplay. If a game can survive, I'm not going to say exactly how many playthroughs I did, you'll find out in the Platinum Journey episode, but after all those playthroughs, never tired of actually playing the game. My okay for Resident Evil 2 was the story. I didn't have any great emotions positively or negatively, serviceable to the gameplay, so it was fine. My one and only dislike. Quite subjective, but I do not like Mr. X. This tyrant, clad in black, indestructible. I do not like being chased around a level. I prefer playing as Claire because Mr. X is in it less frequently than he is in Leon's story. It's just, I don't like being the prey. That's what ends, you just, yeah. I understand all of the negative feelings I have about Mr. X are by design. I'm not meant to like him. I'm meant to be terrified. I'm meant to feel my heart racing. I'm meant to constantly be looking over my shoulder. I get that. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't like Mr. X by design, but I still don't like him. <laughs> Okay, uh, those are my thoughts about Resident Evil 2. Overall, fantastic game. Absolutely play it. You'll get 30, 40 hours of game time out of it. And there's the extra modes. Uh, costumes, special weapons. The replayability is a big factor. I am eager to try out Resident Evil 3 next year. And then we're getting on into Resident Evil 4. The remake might be done in that time. And if it isn't... Because Resident Evil 4 HD doesn't have a Platinum Trophy, I'll just do a Platinum Journey bonus episode. Thinking ahead. Okay, yeah. Platinum Journey episode for Resident Evil 2 will be out in the next few weeks. Until then, folks. Take care.